in the opening round as Lopez comes out with the right hand is that Lomachenko has been a slow starter he lands half of what he lands in rounds 2 through 12 he throws 20 fewer punches than the lightweight average in the first round it's later that he typically picks up the pace. Yeah, it is later that he typically picks up pace because what he does is, is he takes a read on his guy. You know, Loma's like, you know, Aaron Rodgers or Pey Peyton Manning, you know, going up to the, you know, the, the, the line of scrimmage. That pre-snap read, that's what he's doing. Just want to get a look out of his opponents before he executes. Like what Lopez is doing in this first round is getting that jab Watch going. Feet, Oftentimes righties don't throw jabs against lefties and that's a misnomer the jab can land lopez hasn't really landed it but he's getting himself in position to land other shots not only is it common to not see orthodox fighters do that against a southpaw it's uncommon to have any productivity with the jab for lopez that's just not who he is he looks for the right hand power punch and remember in the lead up to this fight often he discussed the fact that he felt his skill set wasn't being represented or talked about enough that's not why the world fell in love with lopez you know he, he's, he's shown more power than he has iq and skill set um but he does have the, the the skill and the ability to box with loma we're seeing it right now halfway through round one this is exactly what we told you about loma about being a slow starter about downloading the information and not firing off the way we typically see he finds range he gets distance calculated i'll tell you one area where lopez should attack and it's the body of loma to slow down those legs one two he has a big frame you know for a small guy he has a long torso go down to that body you see how loma keeps his hands up real high throw something up top and then drop something down to the body there it is and there is the right hand to the body from tiafimo lopez these are the rounds why Lomas is downloading information Lopez can put in the bag right now. Just keeping his hands working. You heard his father say after that right hand to the body, that's what I want. There's the jab again from Lopez. More jabs than we're used to seeing from him. Perfect round so far for Lopez. So you see all the hand gestures, but you see how Lopez, how calm he is, how relaxed he is. Tried to come across with that right hand to the body again. Remember, there were so many who thought that Tiafimo would come out as the brash, young, bold fighter and jump on Loma. Instead, measured. Watch your feet. Every has called out Loma for as long as we can all remember, dubbing this ascension the takeover. That's the most essential thing that Lopez is doing right now is just sticking the jab out. He's not landing it, but he's occupying Loma. He's, he's not allowing Loma to get comfortable or to be able to gauge his range. And in the meantime, he's flicking jabs out and he's landing that straight right to the body. That's a beautiful shot right there. And he got his foot outside the lead foot of Loma to land that right hand to the body. But what I like about what Lopez is doing is, is he is shooting the jab, but he's staying inside to land his jab. You many don't we don't talk about this often, but if you move to your right, you're able to find the angle with your jab a lot easier than moving left. Goes to the body again, and then a right hand comes in from Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah, you see that power, and you see Loma respecting that power. He felt it already. So the body work continued, and then all of a sudden Lopez goes up top with a right hand. We already starting to see redness on a rib page on the left side of Loma. Yes. He's going to touch to the body. Good work so far. Six body connects for Tiafimo Lopez early on here. It's going to take about four rounds for Loma to get acclimated. He's been out of the ring for about a year, 14 months or so. Longest career layoff. His last fight was in London. We were there ringside when he had a unanimous decision against Luke Campbell, a tall fighter, another guy who's more the naturally bigger man, and there were moments of success that night in London from Luke Campbell. Yes, it was, and that's what I saw. I saw that Luke Campbell, when he was able to establish distance outside, he was able to isolate the offense of Lomachenko, just as you see here with Lopez. He's isolating 
Left the hand. Offense. Left hand from Lomachenko for the first time now. You see Lopez has to be concerned of crossing the threshold as the process that Lomachenko goes through. The range finding and he just pulled the trigger quickly with the left hand there. And they got Lopez attention. So Lopez had the right hand early in round two and now Lomachenko with a timed left hand moments ago. It's a high level of skill. Yes, it is. From both fighters on display right now. And you may say, well, how is that possible for Lomachenko? It's because you got to watch the indirect attacks, the, the feints of foot, the feints of hands, and all of the positioning that he's doing before he even lets a shot go. He makes you work even if he's not throwing punches. He's so angular. All the movement. Ooh. It can be exhausting. Good exchange. Got to him. this super fight so the last half of that second round bank it for Vasily Lomachenko round number three for the undisputed title Lopez got real comfortable you know Loma didn't do much but then when he did strike strike like a Cobra and he was pinpoint accurate brought up how exhausting it can be with the non-punching activity how Loma can outclass his opponents mentally and for Lopez this is not just a challenge of what you're up against physically but staying focused every single second yes. against a master yes. craftsman that can be so taxing Dre it's like Brady or Aaron Rodgers mm -hmm. going to the line of scrimmage and audible two or three times and as a defense you, you get set and then they audible again and then you get set and they audible again it's very very exhausting and Lopez knows this coming in he's watched Lomachenko so I believe he's prepared for that tonight and then on the other side Tim if you're Tiafimo yeah you know that Loma loves to fight with rhythm he loves to conduct the orchestra of his fights at some point you have to find a way to be disruptive you have to find a way to take full control and make him uncomfortable you got to be a little bit aggressive to to offset that rhythm but he fades in and out of range you know that's why he's so effective you know you come in and see him he stepped out of range right there made Lopez miss then he'll come back in range it looks like you can hit him and then he slightly gets out then he moves his head off to the side you have to be alert really alert when you're in there against a sharp shooter like Lomachenko is dipping changing levels see what Loma's doing is he's trying to test the young guy he's trying to see what he knows he's changing levels dropping his head down low trying to see if he can get a response and if he sees the right response then he'll attack he'll come up shooting with shots Loma found himself in the pocket for a moment there and Tiafimo threw the two punch combination That body shot lifted up Lomachenko, try to get away from it. Left hand from Tiafimo. Every time that threshold is crossed, he is going to fire. There he is with Lomachenko against the ropes for a moment, and a combination of Lomachenko returns fire. See, Lopez got to be a little bit more disciplined. If he's going to do the shoulder roll, he got to be a little bit more disciplined with that. It's not time for that, Timmy. It's not time for that. It's the third round. It's not time for the shoulder roll. The shoulder roll comes when you're comfortable and you, you've taken charge of this fight. And right now, Lopez is not completely in control of this fight. Well, he's in control of this round right now. Took the first, mm. Lomachenko's effort in the second, and then Out. Tiafimo Lopez has land, landed 11 of 42 punches thrown. Lomachenko had two of 11. Twenty-six percent was the connect percentage in that last round for Teofimo Lopez. Let's bring in Bernardo. Teofimo Sr. said, I told you we could get him. I think he heard him in that last round, and he landed a really good seven. I said, what's the seven? That overhand looping right. He said, mentally, we've got him where we want him. He's not doing anything. It's a big early statement, but it's a guy who is often very confident. His father, his trainer, who has molded him, throughout his amateur career, throughout his pro career. Whole lot of trainer, whole lot of hype man. Lopez is boxing good. 
like we've said, these first four rounds. But it's it's way premature to say that they've got Loma where they want them. It's Agreed. a lot of fight left. Especially mm. considering the way a typical Lomachenko fight goes. That nice little jab over the over Lopez's jab. It's nice by Lomachenko. I'm looking forward to seeing the uppercut from Lopez. And I like the pace that Lopez is fighting at. He's not wasting anything. He doesn't seem to be over anxious. And he's not throwing a lot of punches. He's only throwing what he needs to throw. So he should have plenty left in the tank as this fight progresses on. It's going to be about concentration, Dre. He's going to have to concentrate every second, That's every minute of this thing. round. Yes, both fighters. Yes. Neither fighter can fall asleep for one second. Mm. If I'm Lopez, I'm getting a little bit more work down to the body of Loma. You know, in these moments, you got to take calculated risk. Loma's body's there. You got to step in and get ripped down to that body. Just miss see. with that right hand to the body, but he has been Ooh. willing to throw to the body. Short exchange, short right hand. Did you see that uppercut right there? That's what I'm looking forward to seeing from Lopez. That right uppercut. I think one thing that's giving Loma some trouble right now is he didn't realize that Lopez was as quick and as fast as he is. He is twitchy. That is a big part of his success. It's not just pure power, God-given power. He has speed that creates timing, which results in power. Loma talked about the IQ of Lopez. He talked about the power of yeah. Lopez. He talked about the timing mm. of Lopez, but he didn't mention the speed. He's realizing that Lopez has speed right now. End of four, and things are real interesting. Staying composed, staying with a plan, and looking good against the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. Round number five here from the bubble at the MGM Grand in Vegas. Look, Lopez, Lopez keep it like this. He's winning these early rounds, a lot of these early rounds. He can keep it just like this. He don't need to rush anything. Take his time, and eventually... Loma's gonna have a sense, he's gonna have to have a sense of urgency to win these rounds And so he's gonna step to him and open himself up for a big shot from Lopez Bernardo, what are they saying in the corner of Loma? Papachenko told Egas, look, don't rush, take your time, be careful, and be patient So this is their plan Anatoly Papachenko, the nickname for the father and trainer of the three division world champion A driven boxing mind who taught Vasily how to first get into a boxing stance at four years old. And then at nine years old, after bringing him to the gym for those five years, he said, no, you're done with boxing for now. You're going to learn traditional Ukrainian dance. He did that until he was 13, didn't box. Why? Because Papachenko wanted him to have the best footwork on earth. Another body shot from Tiafimo going to that belt line with the right hand. That's been the story so far in this fight. Lomachenko doing a lot of movement, a lot of defense, but keeping that body exposed. I think the key word from Papachenko was patience. And you don't hear that word thrown out there a lot as it pertains to professional prize fighting. But when you're facing a guy in Lopez who's strong, powerful, twitchy, like we said, you got to take some steam out of those punches in order to put yourself in a position where it's safer to let your offense go but right now it's not safe enough for Loma to let his hands go and that's why he's not throwing a lot well he gotta throw some punches he, if he gonna take some steam off a fighter throw some punches throw something down to the body he isn't gonna let, has he landed a body shot Tim, yet Tim you we know how Loma fights he doesn't throw a lot of punches early on he's trying to wear the mind down of Lopez with the movements and all the different things that doesn't look like it's working right now but it's still a lot of fight left. Okay. body work from Tiafimo Lopez to that point and to support that argument, because even the way CompuBox is telling this, this is still well below what we see out of Lomachenko. At this point right now, with a half minute to go in round number five, Lopez has thrown 174 punches. Lomachenko has thrown 40. Well, go ahead go ahead and wait, Loma. Go ahead and wait, because you're going to have to, sooner or later, you're going to have to step to this young man, because right now, he's easily winning this fight. 
and it's not the way he typically goes about it. It's skillful. It's measured. Has he moved on the angle yet? He hasn't even moved on the angle no. yet. And that is what he is known for, being an angular, offensive, aggressive counterpuncher. End of fight. Joe Tessitore, Tim Bradley, Andre Ward with you here ringside. Interesting to note when it comes to the defense of Lomachenko, that has been simply sublime for most of his career. In his career, opponents only land 18% of their punches on him. Lopez is ahead of that schedule. However, at 135 pounds, fighting bigger than his natural weight, here the champion at 135 with three belts, he has been getting hit more. Opponents at 135 pounds land 30% of their power punches against him. Right now, Tiafimo Lopez is landing 36% of the power punches against Lomachenko. And he comes in with a 1-2 there, a right hand that tries to split the guard here early in round 6. Ooh, just missed off the mark with that left hook test. I kept asking Tiafimo in the lead up to the fight about the power. He said, you don't get it. His IQ is going to bring out mine. And what we haven't seen is Loma moving to his right the way he does against everyone else. He typically takes that angle mark to the right to try to get out of that lead foot and be able to place that power left hand. He gets around that left shoulder, that left elbow of his opponents. We are yet to see it tonight successfully. You take that away, he's ordinary. And that's exactly what this young man is doing. He's taking that angle away from Lomachenko. The critics grossly underestimated the boxing skill of Lopez to this point. But the master is opposite him. We knew he would be a slow starter. There's a little bit of an angle in the left hand that tried to go down the alley. That's what Lomachenko's going to have to do. He's got to close the distance, and I know it seems counterintuitive yeah. when you're facing an explosive puncher like Lopez, but you've got to get inside that power to be effective so you're not on the end of his punches. Because right now, on the end, he's getting picked apart by Lopez. The speed of that jab from Teofimo Lopez, those quick hands. Once again, trying to go to the body with a long-range right hand. Southpaw jab being doubled and tripled up. Range Put finding by Lomo. Now he's Put trying to get hand. to the inside with a short left hand. That's where he's got to live, right there. Did you see the hook from, from Lopez, though? Well, that hook can be dangerous against the Southpaw because it's sitting right on top of them. Closest punch to be landed. And that's the shot that's going to take away the jab of Lomachenko, that left hook. It's going to make him keep his hands at home. There's a right hand to the body again from Tiafimo. Counterpunch by no, no, no. Loma. Watch your head. Russell your Moore, head. we haven't said okay. his you name good? much okay. tonight. Getting the assignment as the third man inside the ropes. And that's a good thing. See, I'm starting to see the same sequence from Lomachenko. He steps in, steps out of range, and he tries to get a jab off. Lopez, let me see if he can pick it up. Nope, there, uppercut. And a right hand! That hurt him. Big finish to round undefeated world champion halfway through our 12 round fight for supremacy and Andre Ward's card has it 59 55 Lopez and it is really tough to disagree with anything there because Lomachenko has hardly put forth any offense he had the short right hand in the second he wins the second round, but all the other and rounds no, seem to be stop, obvious stop for Tiafimo. Let's go. Most senior told me, look, this guy can take a shot, but what I'm seeing here is that we're gonna run him down, but he has to be patient. Just wait for the moment, but we're gonna run him into a shot. You can see some redness and just a little bit of swelling around the face of Lomachenko. Look at that focus on Tiafimo Lopez. Hyper attentive to everything going on here as he fires off that back power hand again. Loma able to get out of range. Lopez can fight at this pace all night long. You want to tire out the young man? I don't think so. Right now. hand got around the guard there. There's a right hand to the body from Tiafimo. 
See, now La Lopez now is, is throwing his punches where he thinks Lomachenko's going to be. He's moving around to the left. Okay, out for the left hook. You move around to the right. Boom, I'll hit you with a right throw. But don't you think that's a big part of what it takes against the moving target that we typically see of Lomachenko to anticipate where he will be? He's angular. He likes to move. You have to predict where you need to be. And now you see more of the movement that he's known for. But will it turn into offense? We have yet to see much offense. It's been all to I'm going to let you know right now, Tess. No, we're not going to see. This man right now is on fire. He is focused, dialed in. He has the heartbeat already, the rhythm of Lomachenko. He's already figured it out. Lomachenko now trying to close the gap as he comes forward against the young, brash, undefeated American. Look at Loma trying to be more on the front end now. And a little rough stuff on the inside as Russell Mora is going to say, you got to protect yourself, Tiafimo. He's allowed to punch on the inside. Nothing wrong with that shot that nope. Loma just landed. You got a free hand, you can use it. That's right. Says the guy who often did to have pound for pound status, Andre Ward, with short body shots on Hello. the inside. Anything it took from our partner. Just missing with a right hand. Coming to the end of round seven. Different disposition in the back half of that round from Lomachenko. Fascinating fight, isn't it?